Hey everyone, Tyler here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a new lens from Lawasini, the 65 millimeter macro lens. It's a T29 to T22, so pretty good range there. Now, full disclosure, they did send this out to me to kind of test and you know send them some test footage and interview and whatnot, but um, it's the lunar unit. I gotta send it back. Um, I don't get to keep it. They're not paying me or anything, and they don't get to see this video. Uh, before it's released, but um, just figured I would make a little first impressions video and that's all this is gonna be kind of a first look and first impressions just because I haven't had it quite long enough to really put it through all of its paces and everything but um, in the time that I've used it I'm pretty impressed. So um, let's go ahead and talk about it. First of all, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what's uh, what it ships with now I do want to mention this is a pre-production unit so Anything could uh, be different. Hopefully uh, they don't uh, change too much because there's a lot I like about this lens, but just know that uh, anything that I show you here could be a little bit different than um, what it actually ships with. But um, that said, I'll show you what it shipped in uh, when it came to me. So it's got this nice little SKB case or it's SKB style, kind of Pelican style case. And uh, when you open it, you're kind of greeted with uh, and it's hard cut out uh, enclosure here and it's kind of cut out for the lens with this soft foam here so um, not gonna get your lens scratched you get some like literature and stuff and it you know came in this little uh, bag right here and then a couple of shims so that's really sweet and then it's just kind of laid out right here it says super 35 65 millimeter lens so you can kind of know what you got here and this is really good for uh, if you get this lens but you also rent your equipment out uh, this is perfect for that uh, even if you're a rental house and you're picking this up you know it's awesome that it you know it's already laid out for you and all that kind of stuff so you don't have to make a separate case for it so we've got that going on that's pretty sweet and um yeah it's pretty much all it comes with at least that's all it came with with mine. Could be a little bit different once it ships. As I mentioned, it is a pre-production unit. So next up, let's talk about the build quality and uh, kind of the design of it. So it comes with this like aluminum, uh, probably aluminum lens hood. So it's really sweet there. Uh, the whole lens is made of metal, probably all aluminum, except for maybe the, the gear rings maybe plastic if it's plastic it's very very hard plastic um but yeah it feels like built like a tank like a cinema lens should uh, you got a 77 millimeter front filter thread on the front so if you want to run any kind of um you know 77 millimeter filters or step up rings or anything like that or like if you have the small rig matte box or something you screw that on screw it onto the front you have two rings right here one is for focus and one is for iris and as you can see, the markings are on either side of the lens. So no matter uh, if you're on, you know, if you're operating the camera or if you're first AC, uh, you can kind of see where you are, no matter which side of the camera that, you on, that you're on. So that's really nice to see that. And that's for both focus and for iris. So we got that going on. And then uh, I have here an RF mount. Uh, I, that's what the one they sent me. I told them I had a Rekomoto, so they sent this over to me. And it's a perfect little uh, pairing for that camera because it is uh, just a super 35 millimeter lens. It does not cover the full inner circle of a, uh, a full frame sensor or whatever. So um, something to keep in mind there, but it's great on the Red Komodo. However, I would say that on the Red Komodo, if you're at like the full sensor readout, uh, the full format uh, 6K. It does vignette a little bit at the corners and uh, the Red Komodo Super 35 sensor is a little bit wider than than other sensors, Super 35 sensors out there. So just something to note there. But like I said, I have an RF mount here. And as you can see, there are no electrical contact points or anything on this lens, meaning this is a fully manual lens. So it's not gonna com communicate uh, any data to the camera and the camera is not able to control the iris or anything like that. So uh, no information <clears throat> uh, is transferred over to like metadata and stuff like that. So you have to manually enter that in if, if you want to have that information uh, for future reference. Uh, but it being a manual lens is not really that uncommon for uh, for cinema lenses so um, I wouldn't get too bent out of shape on that but overall build quality super solid feeling uh, but still relatively lightweight so um, you know really dig that there next up is image quality this is obviously really important uh, and, and just from my like initial testing and using this lens uh, my first impression is how sharp this lens is and not even at like full macro I mean obviously this is a macro lens so 
you know, it's really fun to get macro shots and stuff like that. But uh, just using this lens as like a normal lens, you know, for whether you do it for like interviews or just like nature or whatever. I just walked out and got a bunch of stuff outside. And I just noticed how sharp this lens is. And like, it kind of reminded me of like when I first put uh, like a Tokina Vista 1 lens on or something like that. Like it's it's not as sharp as a, a Vista 1, but it's it's really close. I mean, I it could be, I haven't, I don't have the Vista 1 lenses. Uh, to test against, but it is a very sharp lens, and I just really like the how the the lens looks, how it resolves color and the contrast and everything. It's just really pleasing. Uh, it's it's pretty pretty clinical. It's, it doesn't really have like much character to it, but especially in a macro lens, it's exactly what I would be looking for in a macro lens. Next thing I'll touch on real quick is focus breathing, and uh, if you're all the way at like the full macro setting and, and rack into infinity, you're gonna notice pretty heavy focus breathing. However, if you are kind of in the normal range, uh, the focus breathing is pretty minimal, um, but I don't, I don't know that many people are going to be doing that intensive of focus racks, but if you do, just know that that is something that you um, might encounter. Uh, but even in like any, like from one to one to two to one um, macro setting, I have noticed that there is uh, some bit of focus breathing and you can use that to your advantage, but it's just something you have to kind of keep in mind when you're, if you're doing macro shots that you, you, you really need to kind of be at that full macro setting to kind of get exactly the, the framing that you want, because if you, if you, you know, rack your focus, pull the focus, whatever, uh, it's going to definitely change the, the magnification or makes, makes basically looks like a zooming in and out. So just something to consider. Uh, it's not a deal breaker of this lens, at least for me, but um, definitely something worth noting. So again, not a huge issue, but uh, just something to be aware of. All in all, uh, my first impressions of this lens, um, it's, it's a really impressive lens. And I mean, Laowa just puts out incredible lenses. I mean, you know, they're, they're really famous for the 24 mil, I think it's 24 mil, their probe macro lens. Um, they've got a lot of great lenses, the new Nanomorph lenses. Um, they're putting out really good lenses. So if they're bringing something to market, it's going to be a really good, uh, a really good tool. And this is no exception. So um, if you, uh, if you want to order one, I'll definitely leave one, a link down in the description below. Uh, that's pretty much all the info I have on this lens right now. Um, but like I said, to first impressions video and i um, gonna have to wrap this up and um, head to the hospital because uh, my wife's getting induced tonight so time to go peace y'all uh, I'll report back I don't know the next few days or weeks I don't know it depends on how things go but uh, that's all I got for you on this one hope you enjoyed a little bit of the footage and um, yeah catch you later peace